So here we are in this unusual for sale by owner property that's kind of a decrepit house and then a carriage house. There's the back of the main house. We're looking at it through the upstairs windows. At the carriage house, it has this kind of stone uh, um, facade, stone covering. I don't know if it's real stone. There is an incredibly deep closet because we're essentially in an attic. It's an attic one bedroom in the carriage house complete with a retro pink bathroom and that window. Uh, and this little storage cubby hole, which you can't see because it's pitch black. Um, there is, of course, no power. But we're here on a bright August day, so I think you're mainly going to be able to see things. Uh, we're in 16th Street Heights, which is a fancy neighborhood that used to be an African-American upper middle class neighborhood, but is now just an upper middle class neighborhood with all kinds of people who have moved in, although it still has many families who have lived here for a long time, the black doctors and lawyers of DC. As we pointed out in the other tape, somebody has already put in a newish kitchen here and then sort of stopped work. So if you moved in here, into this carriage house, which seems to have three levels and has at least three bedrooms, I think one on each level. You could then do the rest of the house while you were, oh gosh, extra stairs. But I think those just go to a door. You could uh, live in here, finish this off. You really only need that kitchen and one bathroom and a bedroom to do the rest. So you could do some sweat equity. Here's a little room that just goes to a furnace. Anyway, I find things like this totally intriguing. It is well over a million dollars, however, but it's a huge property. Uh, it just needs everything done to it, beginning with turning on the power. That is not a real fireplace, by the way. Uh, now we're going to go walk around the corner and show you what the front of the main house looks like. Across the street is a fancy private school that moved up here from Calorama. Oh, we have little French doors onto the kitchen uh, here in the carriage house. Anyway, there are, uh, that's, uh, I think it's called something like the Kingsbury School. I know the word King is in it somewhere. And it's kind of an elite embassy row private school that moved up here. Previously, this building actually was a school for the retarded, I believe. I don't think it was a handicapped even, it was the retarded. That's the back of the main house. And we're going to go out and show you what the street looks like. And show you what the front of the main house looks like. I might even go over and see what the name of the school is. Since I've forgotten my old real estate company, which was in Calorama, was right around the corner from it. And I think I actually showed it to the building it was in to somebody when it was for sale. Anyway, the carriage house and uh, the main house all together is supposed to have four to five bedrooms and six baths. I think it's more bedrooms than that. And this is 16th Street Heights, which is all churches all the time, plus temples. Kingsbury School. And this is a funny little side street. Might even begin, be the beginning of Piney Branch Road. I think it might be uh, between 15th and 16th. Here's our house. You can see it has this unusual stone covering. I'm still not completely sure that it's, it's not the perma stone, it's not the completely fake stuff, but I can't tell if it's like some kind of texturized concrete product that was made uh, you know, in the 60s or something, or if, it, if those are real stones that someone collected out of a field. I lived in a house in Tennessee that was made out of real stones that were collected out of a field, and then we built an addition on it, and we actually went to a field with a flatbed trailer and collected more of our own stones. So, I, uh, oops, I'm going to get a little sun brightness. But I want to show you what the front of the house looks like. And that's the front.
and that's busy, busy 16th Street, which you can almost hear from the yard. Not very well. I can actually, it's actually drowned out slightly by the air conditioning compressors at the private school. But that's the house, which I am fully convinced could be converted into six to seven condos.